Okay, let's do some more Skype tests, Skype room tests. I have this Skype room. La, la, la. Where are we going to find it? I have the Skype room here. There we go. I renamed it because it's going to be for pending members of Skype chat, but it's the same room that I showed in the last video. And what I found was that you couldn't add people to the members area here. I tried dragging um, Julie Wolf 2 in this one and I couldn't. Um, but one of the administrators of the room, Julie Wolf's Skype coach, was the admins, uh, was able to drag, um, was able to add by dragging this other Skype account. So the creator could not add a person, but a moderator or master role could. So <laughs> I'll put a link below the video to the other video. But what I wanted to do now was see if I changed the room so that to allow people to join the group, see how that shows up, copy conversation link, that's the join link, you, un you can uncheck it, the link disappears, and you can check it, and the link appears. Anyway, um, so now it's joining enabled with this little link showing, and I'm going to try to add yet another person, I'm going to make sure that they're a contact. Skype Wisdom. Again, to add people to the room, you want to drag them into the member area where the other members are showing, not into the chat. They won't be a member of the room. People will just have their contact details. So we're going to drag them over here to the members area. And now, um, myself as uh, the creator of the room, in a creator role, was able to drag this person over once joining was enabled. So that's a funny little quirk that you have to have joining enabled for the creator of the room to be allowed. You have to have that check, check to allow people to join the group in order for the creator to add people, but everyone else can add people to the room. So anyway, that's the next two tests. Thanks for watching. See you on Skype.